Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you to my sponsors, Hammer, Turbo, and Volify. Please enjoy the video, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thank you. So for this video, we will be throwing the Columbia 300 top speed. We did a pretty standard layout on this one, pin above the bridge. Another five and a half inch pin from my pap. Asymmetric core wrapped with the HK22 pearl cover stock. So another pearl asymmetric. This one a little cleaner and a little more angular than say the 3D offset attack or the katana assault. Um, this one is a little bit weaker, cleaner, more angular. So one take, no cuts, no edits. Let's get out here, shoot the ball review. We're gonna start just left of 15. Be looking at 16. This was a ball that I was extremely pleased with the minute I threw it in the first game. Generally when I drill a ball, it takes a while for me to integrate it into my arsenal uh, into tournaments. This one I threw in a tournament the day after I drilled it. So, And I've seen other people throw it. I've seen Tim Foy crush a tournament with this ball. It's just a really good ball. And I do have the original speed as well. That one is a little bit earlier and stronger. This one with the pearl cover stock gives it a little bit more length. Um, but if this is your first review watching of mine, I do just slowly migrate left. And I am bowling on a house shot with a lot of friction to the right. So I'm right there in between 15 and 20. By the end of the review, I will get closer to 25. Now after this shot, I'll tell you exactly where this top speed fits in my arsenal. I've been doing that segment on all my ball reviews. Just to show you guys where it fits in, because there are so many balls out, it is kind of hard to determine just uh, from the info they put out, how much the ball actually hooks. So I'm gonna tell you where it fits in in my arsenal. So this ball fits in after the strong asymmetrics, but almost in that range of benchmarky, um, stronger symmetrics. So, if I had to go down my arsenal, I would go Speed, um, Envision Pearl, Katana Assault, then I would get into the Dark Web, and then we're getting into the top speed. So maybe fifth or sixth ball out of the bag. It is an asymmetric core, but it's not a super strong cover. So it is clean and more responsive. You'll see it pick up a little bit sooner here because I am bowling on um, a pretty dry house shot. But if there was too much volume on the lane, you would know because it is such a clean cover. You'd have to go into something with a little bit more surface on it. But for this, it's perfect. So now I'm looking around 20. Throw it a little slow. Yeah. At least I got the 10 out. My last few reviews, I've been leaving 4, 7, 10s a lot. Um, so yeah, at least I got the 10 out there. <clears throat> and uh, I am wearing a Bullify jersey. I made these for tour this year. I leave very soon. After, I mean, when this comes out, I'll probably already be on tour and you guys will be watching all the finals on TV. But I did go with the uh, solid cover, solid color jerseys this year. Nice and clean like Norm Duke used to, used to wear. <clears throat> yeah, visit bullify.com if you have any jersey needs. I also do use turbo and changeable thumbs. And of course, now I am signed with Hammer, so I can throw the seven brands of Brunswick. So let's get left to 20. Oh, 
I am staying more up the back of the ball. There's so much friction, right? I don't want to come around it and have it check mark. This ball will though. If I were to get way left, spin it a little bit or come up to the side of it and um, add some axis rotation, it would store and then it would go left. <clears throat> Plane hook so much. It's uh, using a little bit too much energy early. But I'm not going to raise my axis rotation. I'm going to raise my axis tilt here, spin it a little bit, and turn it to the right. You saw how it got further to the right, cleared a lot easier. And then when it hooked, it went more left. And yeah, this is the most I've struck on any review so far, so just shows how good this ball is. And again, I used this up in uh, Palm Coast the day after I drilled it. It's clean, but it's still pretty smooth. Um, smooth enough for me to use on multiple lengths, multiple patterns. Doesn't do anything too crazy, but if you get around it, it will create some uh, shape for you. Okay. Came around it, and it went to the right. <clears throat> so this ball, when I need to get into this type of shape, it's either the dark web or the top speed. Top speed's a little shinier. Dark web is a little dull. Uh, dark web is also a symmetric core, while the top speed is asymmetric, so. A lot of balls you'll find will overlap somewhat with another ball. Um, I technically, or I personally have both, and sometimes I use one, sometimes I use another. So I'm actually gonna move a little bit right, throw it a little faster. Look again around 17, 18. A little bit more up the back. I'm gonna throw one more shot walking around the ball return. I'm gonna send this one a little bit further to the right. But this top speed is one of my favorite balls that I've drilled. 3D offset attack, top speed, and dark web. Those three, I will go nowhere without. You guys should definitely look into one of those three. All spinny. See how it stored its energy and then hooked a little bit? Yeah, this is just a great ball. And there you have it, Columbia 300 top speed. I seriously think this is a ball some of you guys may need. This and the 3D offset are must-haves in my bag, at least. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to the channel. We're almost to 5,000. Hopefully, by the time you're watching it, we are at 5,000. You guys have a good day. We'll see you on the next review. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. If you're in the market for a new jersey, visit bullify.com and use code Trevor Roberts at checkout for $5 off your first order. Thank you.